Good morning. I've made it to West Monmouthshire at last. Only the second time this year. We got a bit of sunshine. It's the highest course in the UK, did you know? And the green fee midweek is still only £20. On a weekend, it's £25. You can't say fairer than that for this wonderful golf course. Well, let's go out and see if we can break 80. Now, the first here is a blind shot, so I always play very carefully. I'm just going with a five iron, and that's a pretty good line. Now, I know the members hit driver because they know where they're going, but I don't play often enough to be absolutely sure. Flags on the front. It's a bit of wind about today, but not enough to blow the camera over, so I don't have to worry about it. That's always an issue up here, is the amount of wind. Greens have been dressed. And they're not as quick as I'm used to, but then they can't make the greens up here very quick. Because otherwise the wind's going to be moving the ball around. So they're always a fraction slower than what you might find on a parkland course in the valley. I've got a 7-9 here and this is a bit of a mistake because it is uphill and then I slap it into the bargain. Should have gone with a 6 because I'm that far short. Now when I'm pitching what I'm always looking for is the uphill putt. And there it is. So if you've got an uphill putt, you've got a considerably better chance than a downhiller, as uh, we shall see later. A couple of pars to start, and we're off to the par five. First time out with the driver, I don't know what it's going to do. I'm expecting a bit of a slice, so I'm aiming into the left rough. And of course, I hit it dead bloody straight, just for a change. Now I am in the rough, but I'm in an area where I think the green keepers go. So it's quite flat. And it was very wet. I could have taken a drop there, but I like the lie. So I've just hit a six iron to get back onto the middle of my hole. And I haven't figured out the wind yet. Beautiful shot. But that's flown. But I don't mind because the green slopes from front to back. So although it's a long lag, it's back up the hill. It's a much easier putt than having 12 feet down the hill and racing it by. And we can rack up yet another par. Fourth hole is very short. Now I would normally hit a driver here especially as it's uphill and into the wind, but I was trying to find myself a good number. So it's a three hybrid. And I've tugged that away into the left rough. Now the first cut of rough here is, it's not too bad. You can get good lies, you can get bad lies, but I've got a good number into the wind, so I'm happy. If you go into the deeper rough, well, you're going to lose your ball. But I have left myself a downhiller. That just wouldn't stop. But that does mean the one coming back is uphill. And uphill is a lot easier. Number five, playing downwind for a change. There's the shape I expected off the third. We're in the fairway, but it is horrible. Ball is below my feet, and it's a downhill lie, and I've got to come over water. So this is about as hard as it gets. And it's squirted off right into a horrible position, because the mound, the lump that I'm trying to get over is exactly where I really want to land this. So I've got to hit this a little further than I would like. And it runs off down the hill. 
It's an uphill putt, but it's perhaps a fraction long. And we're one over. Now the sixth has a nightmare green, and the flag is on the left, which is a bit nightmarish. Not sure what happened with this, but I came up short. When I got to the green, I looked back, and I thought the group behind me was already on the tee, waiting. But it was just an optical illusion. They were on the green, on the fifth green. So I rushed all this, and um, I've got to take the double bogey on the chin for my optical mistake. I was just in a hurry to get out of the way. Another blind tee shot. Now I don't know why, but the marker posts in the middle of the fairway seem to have disappeared since my last visit. I've had to walk forward 50 or 60 yards to get the line on this. And that isn't it. Oh, hard. Yeah, it most definitely wasn't it. But a really good pitch. And we should be on for our par. It's only about five feet. This is the sort of thing I practice. And under hit. We're off to four over. Now the short par four. Out of bounds all the way down the right. You can see the white posts amongst the sheep. Let's give it a rip. Now this plugged and my knee was hurting and it was well below ground. So I took the opportunity to let the group behind through. I did find it. I took my drop, which was horrid. Contact with the ball, horrid. I may have spent little more than a three minutes here finding that. So you knows I was letting a group through. And I don't care. And anyway, it's finishing with a bogey, so I've had my punishment. Off to the par five ninth. It's a dog leg right over out of bounds, and I want nothing to do with it. Whether that's me or the wind, I don't know which. But it's a lot further right than I expected. The trouble with the second shot here is you can't see much and it's a bit of a guess. There's a pond to the left of the green, so I always try and play short. Well, we've reached halfway. I tell you, it's very difficult playing this golf course when you're looking at uh, views all over the place, 360 degrees of views. I'm struggling a bit. I can't walk very fast and I'm having to walk very fast because there's quite a few other players on the course. When I'd rather just trundle along slowly and concentrate on my golf and concentrate on making a video. I don't know how many over par I am, that birdie certainly helps. But since they made changes to the World Handicap system, I used to get six shots here, now I only get four. So they've taken a third of my handicap off me. If you want to know how painful that is, imagine a 24 handicapper being told, you're off 16 today. Now we've got this long par three. See if I can hold the back nine together a little bit better than the front. But I'm, I'm really no wind player. I always struggle in this. Never mind with my other issues. Well, 10 is a bit of a brute, especially with the wind off the left. So I'm aiming left with the five wood. Oh, the wind. And the ball's I'm not bring it back to stayed me. left. Where, where's the wind when you want it? I decided against chipping and went with the putter just for a change. And this kind of like snap hook left very quickly. I wonder if I'd chipped if I could have taken some of that break out. Funny how the putt looks a different length when you move the camera around. 
and just under hit for yet another bogey. Breaking 80 does not look good. The 11th, this thick stuff goes all the way up the right. So I am up the left. We're back into the breeze and uphill. It plays a lot longer than that 459 yards. You ought to try it from the white tees. It really is a brute then. Perhaps a bit too much of a gamble with the five wood out of that lie. But we've got ourselves a good number. It's just a shame I'm aiming so far left. Twelve, the dog leg, framed by the mounds. There are no bunkers up here. The wind would simply blow them away. A very nice drive for a change. Shame I only got six feet of run out of it. Now I don't know what goes wrong with this shop, whether I've fatted it, or it's the wind, or it was on an upslope. I don't know, but I am well short. But this is where we get creative, the flag's on the front. So if I hit my sand wedge hard enough, I've got this backstop. I can land on the green, go past the flag, a bit like that, and then it runs back to the flag. There I am, at the foot of the slope, ball had come back, and a nice little par. Last! We go off to the last par five, the thirteenth. I'm expecting to hit this left to right on the wind. And again, I hit it dead straight, so I'm in the left rough. You just don't seem to be able to win. There's a drainage ditch across, but I'm so far up. I'm not laying back today with a six or a seven iron. I'm going over. And that's nicely over. There's the highest tee in the UK. Out of action for the winter, they like to preserve it and look after it and not get it chewed up when it is soft and muddy. Yeah, that was halfway there. Let's see if we can get the other half and get that par. Thank goodness for that because I'm starting to run out of holes. So a forward tee, the wind's off the right, I'm just going to hook the three wood. One of my favourite shots. Uh, except for I've come out of it early, and that's not a hook. And this is an absolutely disgusting lie. This is the sort of lies you do get. Occasionally they sit up, and occasionally they sit down. And when they sit down, you cannot get the ball forwards. And I've finished in a position where it's impossible to get a par to a front flag. If the flag had been back a bit in the middle, it would have been far easier. <laughs> Fifteen. It's almost a replica of the uh, seventh hole. Oh boy, that's the wrong direction. Yeah, the green's on a little shelf. You, there's room to miss it right. You don't want to miss it left. But bizarrely, up here, I can see the flag. I can see where I'm going. And this time I had a good enough lie to do something about it. Although I did favour the right-hand side of the green as you're supposed to. Which left me with this. Now I know this putt is quick. And that's why I dollied it. I didn't want to put it off the green, but my goodness, that short puts plenty of pressure on you. Now my favourite hole. What a way to get off the hill. 
250 yards, three wood. This is superb. I've got the camera in the wrong place. You can't see the hole, so you're just going to have to listen for it. <laughs> Whale, oil, beef, hooked. 17th, the flag is tucked on the left behind the mound. I always say that this hole would not look out of place on any open golf course. It's gorgeous. And of course I went for the flag. I wasn't going to bail out to the right. Oh my. That was the cellophane bridge. I thought that was in. I thought I was going to go 2-2. Two, 2-3 two. Two, isn't bad. Do you ever get the impression that uh, golf is a stupid game? One thing's for certain, you never know where you're going to make your score. But that too is a memory I shall keep for a long time. In fact, the last two times I've played that hole, I've had a two. The last time it was about three and a half feet. That was um, considerably longer. Cheerio. Final hole, wind is off the right. Let's try that three wood draw that I was trying on 14. Oh yeah, got it this time. Better late than never, I guess. Flag is on the front, which is a very awkward place to be. The ball's slightly above my feet and we'd tug it away. I did wonder whether I should allow for the tug or not. Now the flag is rarely down here, so I don't know much about this other than it's right to left and it's uphill, but it's not that much uphill. But either way... Oh, that's cruel. We've managed to get round and we've broken 80.